Sad Bay time. And we're going to be talking about long distance relationships. But someone has a question for us. Let's find out what the question is. And then we'll come back to studio to discuss this. Dear TV3 New Day, I have been in a relationship for four years now. I know my fiancé loves me and so do I. However, during the last three years of our relationship, I managed to secure a visa to the United States. I have been here in the U.S. for about one and a half years now. I still love my fiancé though. But a lady who showed me great care and tender affection has now taken over my brains. I think about her every day. She is caring, respectful and well educated. In fact, even though we do have some little quarrels sometimes, we settle it amicably. When it happens that way, our love for each other tends to be stronger than previously. I do love my fiancé too. But I love this new girlfriend far more. We are even thinking about getting married in six months here in the US, which will also enable me to settle down and pursue my career. My problem now is how to break this news to my fiancé. Kindly advise me. So that advice will be coming in later. But joining me in studio is Bella Ajiman. She is Miss Multinational Ghana 2018 and also Miss Commonwealth Ghana second runner-up. And I've also got David Munchili. He's an actor and digital marketer. Good morning, gentlemen and lady. So let's start off with, you know, the whole talk about long-distance relationships. And then we'll narrow to the question of or asking for advice as to what to do. Do you agree with long-distance relationships to start off with? Yes, I agree. Okay. And then let me ask you to Bella, do you? I don't. You don't. Okay. So yes and no. Why and why not? Um, we are in a global village now. Okay. And the technology has made things easy. I can be here and have a girlfriend in the USA. Mm. Because of video calls, communication, I can call her all the time. Mm. I can do video call with her. I will feel that, I will feel that connection. Right. I don't need a person to be with me. To physically. know that there is love. Okay. Yeah. So I believe in long distance relationships. Right. Bella. <laughs> okay. I believe that your your spouse has to be closer to you. Okay. You have to get to know each other. It like it, it makes the love more exciting. It makes okay. relationship more exciting. So long distance relationship is a no for, for me. You. Yeah. Okay. Internet love doesn't work. I just from what she's saying, what if your partner travels? For a course, yeah. maybe two years. Doesn't mean you are going to break up with him. Oh, if he travels for two years and you can visit him and he can come to you, it's cool. But if he's gone for two years and he meets somebody else in two years, do you know what he'll be doing? It's, it's, it's life. Okay. Things happen all the time. <laughs> so now let's not set our own question. Now let's come back to what this young man is telling us about. Mm -hmm. He started off a relationship, a four-year relationship. Um, a year into the relationship, he gets the chance to travel. Now he's in the U.S., he's met another woman, mm -hmm. and they're planning to get married. He's planning to break off with the one in Ghana. Hmm. How does he go about it? Should he break up with the one in Ghana or, and stay with the one in the U.S., or not even have started this relationship in the first place? He shouldn't have started in the first place. Okay. Why do you say that? When he realized that someone was getting closer to him, hmm. he should have made her aware that... He already has someone here in Ghana. Okay. But he didn't do that. He gave the chance. And when it comes to love, when you give the chance, love grows. Okay. So the more you are with me, we talk all the time, I, I will definitely fall for you. Okay. So he gave the chance for it to happen. Okay. If not, if he made the lady aware, I, I think that the lady would have distanced herself from him. Hey, not all ladies will do that, but you let me <laughs> probably, ask Bella. Probably he told okay. the lady, mm -hmm. um, I have a girlfriend in Ghana. But as he said, things were moving on well for them. And they are getting married in the next six months. So he has to break off with the one in Ghana. You just have to tell her they, the one in Ghana has to move on. Mm. So you tell her, oh, um, when I came to the U.S., this and that and that happened, and now I have this girl. We are getting married, okay. so it's life. But he says he still loves her. That's the problem. I think he's he's confused okay. because if he's still in love with her, he wouldn't be getting married to another person. Mm. He's getting married. It's marriage, mm -hmm. you know. He probably he he thinks that he's in love with this new girl because. He is closer. Right, proximity. For him to say that, 
I still love the one in Ghana. Mm. Then it means that he see when it comes to love, he has to make a firm decision. Mm. You can't. This girl has been with you before you left. Mm -hmm. Now that you left, you found another person. You want to tell her that. I'm getting married. Yeah. How do you want I think to looking feel? at the story, he has already made a decision. Mm -hmm. Because when you're walking down the aisle, it's a big thing. Mm -hmm. So if he has already decided that he's going to marry the one in the States, he has to break off with the one in Ghana. But in the same light, I mean, if he thought he couldn't handle a long-distance relationship, would you have been of the view that he breaks off with this Ghanaian person mm -hmm. before he even left? Or probably when he got there, he realized he's not coming back anytime soon. Mm -hmm. He probably should have broken up before falling in love yes, with this Yes, he person. should have done that. Okay. But he didn't. Right. So at this moment, he just has to tell the lady in Ghana that, well, baby... How is she going to feel? Look, it's different if I tell you... Mm -hmm. The way things are going, I don't think I can come back. Right. So I advise that we'll you break on. off. Then later you find a new person. It's cool. But this, you are coming with me with the news that I'm getting married in six months. Hmm. How? Yeah, so, so probably he can use your advice. He could tell the lady that I'm not coming back anytime soon. So and if then you want to move two on. two or three months, you tell me that you are getting married to a new lady. He doesn't have to tell her. But she will find out. We are in a global village. Facebook was everything is there. That's she a different dimension. But Bella, if you were the woman, how would you feel? I would feel so bad, but it's life. Mm. It's life. It happens. I'm not the first person somebody will break off with me. Mm. It happens. He's in the States. I'm not sure the girl in Ghana was faithful. I mean, yes, I'm I, not sure. I, I, I'm not sure she was. So if he's cheating, I'm sh probably she was also doing the same. So if he's like, oh, I'm getting married, you should understand. No, but hmm. my problem is, okay, so guys, let's come back to this long-distance relationship thing. Do you think at any point in time there was a break in communication? Because clearly, if you say you still mm -hmm. love her, then these are things you would be updating her, even as to who your friends are, what yeah. you're doing in the mm -hmm. U.S. So at what point then, like he was rightly saying, do you come back and tell me that I'm getting married in a few months? Okay. If you didn't know this new person, it means that you probably have been together for quite a while. And how would that make you, the person here, feel? Um, if I was the woman, as I said earlier, long distance relationship, I don't agree <laughs> with it. If I'm dating and you travel, like in my head, that's it. Okay. So um, the girl, hmm, it's, it will be difficult. If, if some people, when they travel, they talk to each other like all the time. I have this friend um, who has a guy in, uh, in Ghana and he left to Spain, but they, 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 they communicate all the time, even sends her money and all that it was like a serious relationship even though he was out there but i got to a point the guy got a girlfriend and he's like oh please now i'm not feeling this relationship anymore it's four years communication will break at a point it will get to a point you know the person in ghana anymore because as you're growing we change hmm. yeah so it gets to a point you know the person in ghana anymore so it's 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 okay to tell the girl that please please move on the best he should have done hmm. was to break off before even traveling. But he didn't. No, you should know yourself. Hmm. I know that me, if I travel, the tendency is I'll come back for you. It's slow. Right. Yes, so but he didn't. Break off okay. Before you go. So but he didn't. You are, you are testing waters. Exactly. Oh, you'll, be, you'll be there <laughs> for me. Then you go there. Mm. And maybe I'll, if I don't find somebody, then I'll mm -hmm. come back for you. Right. How can you be playing with someone like that? Hmm. But you know, we, in this particular story, this is international. So we've mm -hmm. got Ghana, we've got US, but even within Ghana, mm -hmm. I mean, there are people who live apart and that's still a long distance mm -hmm. relationship. So like we said, physically not present, but there's a bit of a distance mm -hmm. constantly. And maybe because of work or other yeah. circumstances, you can't even visit. Are you saying you will not even encourage such a relationship? Oh, okay, if it's in mm -hmm. Ghana, I can, I, can, I can travel anyway. Okay. Yeah, so no, but I'm saying maybe work does not yeah. permit the two of you. Your schedules do not allow you to meet as often. So it's technically um, almost since, as Since it's, like in, it, it's in the same country, I have a feeling that um, you can be able to meet up at some point. Okay. Yes, and that one communication will be okay like everything you can talk all the time network you can like talk but all now the time Skype and internet allows us to do the same outside. yes but still if it's the same country it's it's okay but if it's in another country it's difficult mm. yes okay. same country i'm good me, for, for me i think that if the guy thinks that he can come back for the lady he should break off with the one he's he getting married oh, you call off marriage all the time Oh, yeah. no. But it's if he thinks free. that mm. he cannot, then he should just go ahead. But if he has 
the power to come back for the lady in Ghana. He should do that. No, he said to come back, as in come back, take her to the to, U.S. as right. well. Okay. Come back, you get married to her, okay. you do your papers, and then she joins you over there. It's fine. But uh -huh. if it's not okay. possible, okay. then he, he can just... Yeah, it's not possible. Lady. I don't think it's possible. So, the it last, the no. <laughs> the last scenario get... for me is you've got a partner. You've been in a steady relationship for maybe two years. He's going to school, probably a PhD. He's going to spend four years. He tells you, I will come back after the PhD. It's a surety. Are you going to wait? No. You, for you? No, I now. wouldn't wait. Okay. No. <laughs> is it that you can't trust yourself or you can't trust him? I can't trust him. I okay. trust myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can wait. Okay. It's fine. It's, it's part of life. Right. People travel all the time. Once you know the person is there for you. Right. See, w one thing you should know is you don't take loyal people for granted. Mm. People will always come and go. Right. But when someone is loyal to you, you should keep them. Okay. So this person has been with you faithful for maybe two years. I'm just traveling for a year or two and I'll come back and you're telling me you can't. No, oh. she said four years, not a year. Or no, two. it's not four years. I said four. I changed the story. I said let's say a PhD. So maybe four years. years. PhD is four years. Yes, in some courses, yes. It's just like an university. Can't course. wait. Can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> so now you're thinking about the DP. But you know, in, in, so if it was marriage, this has been relationships, and so maybe mm -hmm. there's no surety. But now you're married. Your mm -hmm. husband is traveling. Maybe work is posting him somewhere for four years. What do you do? Oh, that we are married. I, so that um, one you can yes, manage. Yes, yes, I can manage. But the dynamics haven't really changed because right, if it's communication, your worry was right. communication. Mm -hmm. The same thing. Yeah, but when, when, when you're in a relationship, it's different. When, I, when I'm in a relationship with you, it doesn't mean I'm for you. You are for who? Hey, I'm still yeah, for yeah, everybody. I'm yes. When yes. <laughs> I'm in a relationship with you, it doesn't mean I'm for oh, you. Oh, okay. Yes. So but when we get married, that makes you yes, secure. yes, we are secured. Um, church knows about it. A family both sides so yeah but when we're in a relationship it can break off at any time yeah but as you are saying it doesn't change when it comes to communication yeah. whether we are married or not it's still the same communication exactly. yes but even so if I'm married, they, I'm even married if, to you and i travel mm -hmm. in six years i'm not back mm -hmm. Are we going to divorce? That's what I'm asking. Yes. That is marriage. But when we're in a relationship, okay. no, but, but, you can't. No, Bella, I'm but trying the to draw your attention the to the circumstances for which you have your is not there communication. For you. Exactly. Not there for you. The not physical around. part, yes, the right. trust issues. Mm -hmm. yes. These things don't change, even yes. in marriage. Yes. So but when you don't know what he's doing, when, out when you're he married, mm. he will definitely come back home. You are sure he will come back home. He can come and visit I know, and go I back. I know someone who got married to a lady for about 10 years now. The man isn't back. I know quite and, a number and the of lady is like still waiting. Yeah. I, I also know people who are married and they've traveled and they come back, they come and visit, check up on the children, go. Well, at no, times the wife goes. I also goes, know relationships where people who have left and have come so, back to marry their Ghanaian counterparts. The, the situation with the traveling, right. the person has to get papers and all that before mm -hmm. he can come back. Lane. So I'm not getting papers. I'm not coming 20 back. 20 years. 20 no years. Will you wait for me or not? So it's the same thing. So if you are married and this person is outside, that one you'll be traveling to visit often, won't you? Yeah. So why can't you do that in the relationship? You don't have the means to travel. It, traveling is not easy like that. <laughs> but what about in a relationship? You can also equally travel. In a relationship, the person can pay for you. Her. If he wants to pay for you, then it's fine. Because okay. I also said that um, if you can be seeing each other, you can visit, right. then it's okay. okay. But if there's no visit at all and it's just internet, Skype, a uh, WhatsApp video and mm. all that. Mm. No. You you want the touch, eh? Yeah. That, that's what I was going to ask. So it's about the physical yeah. presence. Yes. You need it's, the it's touch. Important. Yes. It's important too, but in this case, it's a, there's a situation, so you need to manage. But there are even people who equally are in a good relationship. They are living probably even in the same house, but for quite some time there will be no touch, there will be no physical presence, and their relationships are doing well. Doing are you well. trying to say really? Yeah. To the best of mm. their knowledge and the fact that they are happy and still yeah. in it. I haven't heard anything like that. You haven't heard anything yeah, like that. Yeah, they yeah, should they be getting probably, probably the guy is cheating. Okay. Why or the, the lady is cheating? cheating. Well, you can't be in a relationship. It should always be the case. We are always thinking about cheating, cheating, cheating. Why? Bella, he's asking. You're, you're, asking. you're very faithful. Oh. oh, no, I'm just saying. Why should you always think about Because I'm not doing anything. It means I'm doing uh, something, something elsewhere. No. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that. Maybe, David, you'll be the one to change Bella's idea <laughs> on this. But certainly, I hope the young man who was asking us for advice has received the advice he's looking for. I've been speaking to Bella Ajiman, Miss 
multinational Ghana 2018, and Miss Commonwealth Ghana second runner-up, and David Munchili, he's an actor and digital marketer. I hope you've had fun on this chit chat on Hard Bay. Certainly next week, we'll bring you another exciting topic on Hard Bay, so make sure you make time with us.